Hey, 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 party people. What's going on? Good to see you. Welcome back to White Whale Fishing. Hey, today, guys, talking to you about one of my favorite things on the planet, good old buzz bait. Now, a lot of people don't throw this bait. I don't, I don't know why. It's a fantastic search bait. It's a fantastic big bass bait. And it's a topwater bait. Who doesn't love topwater? But, I, you know, for those of you out there that don't have a lot of confidence throwing one of these, this video is for you. If you have a lot of confidence throwing one of these, this video may not be for you. You may be able to pick up, you know, a few gold nuggets here and there, but this is basically Buzz Baits 101. Let's go. So <clears throat> there's gonna be some people out there that don't feel that a buzz bait is necessarily a big bass lure. And for all of you out there that share this opinion, this is what I want you to do right now, right, right the second. I want you to pause this video and I want you to Google the name Pat Cullen Fishing, C-U-L-L-E-N and come right back. All right, so hopefully you guys have checked out Pat Cullen Fishing. The reason why I wanted you to check this guy out is because this guy who lives in Valdosta, Georgia, he's been fishing for 40 years off a little tin boat Nothing fancy. He's still throwing bait casting rods with pistol grips, right? This guy has more double digit bass catches than anybody else on the planet. And 90% of the time, he fishes a buzz bait. He also fishes at night. That's pretty smart because that's when none of us are out there hunting them or very little of us are out there hunting them. So <clears throat> there's no doubt that a buzz bait is a big bass lure, without a doubt, hands down. I first learned about a buzz bait 20 years ago, ish. I was either in junior high or in high school. And back in those days, I used to get up two hours before school and walk across the street and go fish, go sneak into a golf course pond and catch giants, right? And that's when I learned about fishing a buzz bait. It was a Bassmaster magazine. It was how to tune a buzz bait or top water secrets or something. I think this is the cover. And it was talking about a, a black a buzz bait with a black skirt paint the blade black tie it to your car antenna drive around for a week then go out on the hottest day at noon no clouds high sky middle of summer and throw that thing in the middle of the lake and it worked and since then i've been hooked all right so let's make this as easy as possible if you're going buzz bait shopping and you don't know what to do, go out and buy a 3 8 ounce white buzz bait and go out and buy a 3 8 ounce black buzz bait. Your white buzz bait, make sure it has a silver blade. Your dark colored skirt buzz bait, make sure it has either a gold blade or a black blade. Simple as that. Both 3 8 ounce. We'll, we'll talk a little bit more about weight later. But Greg, when I go out to the store, I see these buzz baits without skirts. Okay? You can always take your skirt off. Another, some other things I want to encourage you to look for in a buzz bait. See, make sure it has a hook keeper. It's not the end of the world if it doesn't, but it's going to help you out tremendously. Why white? Why dark color? White's going to imitate shad. Dark color is going to imitate bluegill. Simple as that. Gold blade is typically representative of bluegill. Silver blade is typically representative of bait fish like shad. All right, 
Next, let's talk about size. You're going to go out and you're going to see small 1 8 ounce buzz baits. You're going to see 3 8 ounce buzz baits. And you're going to see half ounce buzz baits. What's the best size to pick? My recommendation would be go with 3 8 ounce. Why? Because it's light enough that it's not going to sink like a rock. But it's not so light that it's going to be difficult to cast on bait casting tackle. Something like this, a 1 8 ounce buzz bait is going to be very difficult to cast on bait casting tackle. This is something I would throw on a spinning rod. <clears throat> so then you're going to be asking yourself, now let me, work, let me back up. There's going to be times where a quarter ounce buzz bait is going to come in very handy. That would be also considered a finesse style buzz bait. So we've got quarter ounce, <clears throat> eighth ounce, but we're not talking about you. Quarter ounce, three eighths, half ounce. Half ounce works well on windy days. Three eighths ounce works good all the time. One quarter ounce buzz bait works really well on non-windy days on high pressured lakes. So there's a time and a place for all of these things. All right, next, skirt, no skirt. What do I do? My recommendation would be buy a buzz bait with a skirt. You can always take the skirt off, but I, I want to put a toad on there. That's fine. You can still put a toad on there. Take the skirt off. And if you run, get into a situation where you want to fish the skirt, you can fish a skirt. Well, which is better? What do I, do I want to fish it with a skirt? Do I want to fish it without a skirt? You're going to have to let the bass tell you what they want more. I'll tell you, I'll tell you this, having a skirt, um, makes it more difficult to cast on windy days because the skirt catches wind, right? Um, <clears throat> having just a soft plastic toad on your buzz bait makes it cast very easily, even if it's a quarter ounce buzz bait, because the plastic adds weight. All right, Greg, um, when I go to Bass Pro Shops or Academy, I see buzz baits that have a clacker hanging out here, or coming out of here. Um, do I need a buzz bait with a clacker? No, you don't have to buy a buzz bait just with a clacker, but this is what I want you to pay very close attention to. There's something called a head knocker buzz bait, and <clears throat> they're designed where, so that the blade comes into contact with the head, or not, depending on how you bend the blade, right? So this blade right now is bent, so this blade comes into contact with that head and creates a knocking sound, or, if you just bend it outwards just a little bit, then it just comes in just like a standard buzz bait. Best bang for your buck because you've got a buzz bait that can knock or you can have a buzz bait that is silent. So if you guys are out there shopping and you see a buzz bait where the corner of this blade looks like it would come into contact with the head, that's gonna be the best bang for your buck because sometimes the bass want noise, sometimes they don't. All right, Greg. Now I've got blades with holes in them. What's up with that? The only reason these blades have holes in them is so that they create more of a bubble trail on the top of the water. They move less water because water is coming through those holes on the retreat, right? This buzz bait will put off more vibration than this buzz bait coming through the water. This buzz bait will put off more splash than this buzz bait coming through the water. This buzz bait will put off more bubbles than this coming through the water. This is almost like a finesse type blade. This is your standard blade. <clears throat> this buzz bait that I'm holding right here, if you guys do any online shopping, this is what I kind of consider the gold standard of buzz baits. If you just want an awesome buzz bait that's not going to totally wreck your bank, uh, this is the Mega Strike Cavatron buzz bait, right? I, I order it in 3 8 ounce. It's got a nice flat keeled head right there. That's a huge deal, huge deal, because that's gonna help the, the, the buzz bait plane faster. It's gonna help it come up to the water faster, and it's going to sink a little bit slower. It has the S curve, so it sinks a little bit lower in the water. Something very also very important to pay attention to is the amount of gap between your hook and the edge of your blade, because that is where the bass gets hooked. So if you have a very small gap between the tip of your hook and the edge of your blade or the edge of your wire, your hookup ratio not going to be great. So if you guys are shopping online, you're doing Memorial Day sale, uh, yeah, this will come out after Memorial Day. But uh, regardless, Mega Strike 
Cavitron, really, really good buzz bait. There's plenty of other good brands out there. This is not a head knocker, but this is a damn good buzz bait. All right, guys, so I know it's not the most exciting video, and it's really not intended to be. It's Buzz Baits 101, you know? We've kind of covered everything. We've covered size, we've covered weight, we've covered blades, we've covered wire. Uh, <clears throat> don't overthink this. Get a black, get a dark colored Buzz Bait with a, a black or a gold blade, get a white colored Buzz Bait with a silver blade or even a white blade, and you can trick it out and customize it later. Those videos are coming. Next, we're gonna be talking about how to make your buzz bait sound the right way, right? And then part three is gonna be trailers, colors, and more customizations. I appreciate you watching. Hope you learned a little bit of something. If a buzz bait is one of your favorite lures, let me know what's your favorite brand down below. Let me know what your biggest bass is off of a buzz bait. If you don't have any confidence in a buzz bait, let me know why. I'll talk to you guys soon. I gotta go tend to the kiddo. Hope you're fishing, tight lines, see you later, peace.